So I am a plastic surgeon for the Mayo Clinic Health System. I do both reconstructive and cosmetic surgery, uh, and I do a bit of hand surgery uh, as the hand surgeon for our hospital. I think the Red Cross does very good work, and a lot of the money, I think all of the money actually, stays local. I started competing when I was seven years old, and I've actually done um, other Dancing with the Stars. I did Dancing with the Good Hugh County Stars twice, and that was also a fundraiser for the Red Cross. Well, I think it's just, um, especially in this community, it, it is such, it's become such a big draw. Um, you know, it started out and it was in a small ballroom with just a few hundred people and now it's, it's turned into this thing that's four, the three or four thousand people in, a, in the Verizon Center. So I think it's really spreading awareness. Well, I think it's a great thing that I get to do something that I love to help such a great cause. And so that's why I keep doing it. Uh, Brittany's just fun. She makes the whole thing enjoyable. Uh, and, and I like the fact that, that she listened. You know, I said, I don't, I, if I'm going to do this, let's really do it. I don't want kid gloves. And she listened. We've got, I don't know, I feel like we come to practice and I'll throw something at him and he'll think it's hard and we won't get into that practice, but every time he comes back, he knows it and he has it fast. And I definitely didn't take it easy on him, but he told me not to, so oh, it's kind yeah. of his fault. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so no, there's definitely some moves in the stance that I use on my students that compete, so <laughs> we're practicing, we're getting there, but basically the, I think the partnering, like the lifts and stuff, that kind of took us a while, and he dropped me on my head like seven times. Oh, was it seven? <laughs> I'm gonna need some surgery. <laughs> well, I mean, to do this, you have to put your own time into it, and it's a lot of time, I mean, we practice, I'd say at least three hours on the weekend more. total, yeah. at least, coming in on our own time, and, putting together a costume, putting together the music, figuring out dance moves, teaching him something he's never done before, and he's taking the time to do this for something so great. So it just shows the type of person he is, and so that adds a lot, I think. <laughs> I would just say, okay, well, we're gonna like basically do the middle splits in a handstand, and he looks at me, he goes, okay. And I thought he was gonna be like, what? No. And then he does it, gets it the first try, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Honestly, I want the crowd to be like, wait, wow, she's making him do that? <laughs> Because I told him, like, I'm going to make it harder than most people would. I'm going to make it challenging because I know he can do it and he said he could, so. I, I've been surprised by how much fun it is. Uh, I, I didn't come into it thinking that it was going to be as enjoyable as it is. So I've, I've really liked my time doing it. Well, certainly, I mean, this is a big fundraiser, so the big thing is to help us raise funds. And they can do that either by buying tickets to the show or donating money, uh, I believe Every dollar is a vote. Uh, yeah, every dollar is a vote. So every dollar that they donate to the American uh, Red Cross if for our team, Brittany and Albert, then it goes towards us and helps us to win and, and helps the Red Cross. Come see us dance and help raise money for the American Red Cross. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Team Albert and Brittany.